Hello. This session is the second part of the WIP Basic Tools video tutorial. In the first part, we saw how to save area versions, create key assumptions, and use them in the Expression Builder. We will practice saving versions of the area, creating key assumptions, and linking them using WIP functions. This exercise is similar to the one in the Basic Tools chapter of the WIP tutorial. WIP has built-in functions, both mathematical and logical. For example, calculate the absolute value, run a value, interpolate and project a variable exponentially. You can also create conditional expressions. In the model we have been developing, we set the big city population as a constant value, 800,000 people. That means that every year from 2000 to 2005, the annual population is 800,000 people. It does not change. We will see how we can use functions. In this case, we will project the big city population with exponential growth. We will use the function growth from, which allows us to project a variable depending on a start year, a start value, and a growth rate. In population terms, the year of the last census, the population of the year of the last census, and the growth rate. The data we will be using are these. The year for the last census is 1990. The population is 733,530 people, and the growth rate is 1.75%. Go to WIP. We have already seen how to create versions of the model and its utility. Create an area version in this state before continuing. Go to Area Save Version. As a comment, add key assumptions. Go to the data view. This version corresponds to the state of the model with key assumptions created and linked to the annual water use rate and monthly variation. We will use everything we have learned so far. We will use key assumptions and the expression builder. Additionally, we will learn how to use built-in functions in WIP. Add a new key assumption. Right-click on key assumptions. Add. Name it date of the last census. Add another key assumption. Population of last census. Add the last key assumption. Estimated growth rate. Assign the values. For the year 1990, population 733,530 and the growth rate 1.75. We will use this data to project the population. We need to go to the annual activity level variable. Go to them and sites big city, water use, annual activity level. We had assigned 800,000 people. Select the expression builder. Delete the current data so we can enter the new expression. There are two options in the expression builder, functions and branches. Selecting the functions tab, we will access all the built-in functions available. In the branches tab, we can access the data tree for which we can link variables. Go to the functions tab and select the growth from function. WIP has many functions that you could start using while you build your models. The syntax is explained, a description is given, and an example is shown for each function. When we use a function, we must carefully read this information to use it correctly and get the desired results. In this case, the syntax of the growth from function is to use growth rate, start year, 
and start value in that order. To add the function, drag and drop it into the editing box. The next step is to add the values directly or linking the variables following the syntax. We need a growth rate first. Because we have the information in key assumptions, go to the branches tab. Go to the key assumptions category, expand it and drag and drop estimated growth rate into the editing box. Go back to functions to check which is the syntax. After the growth rate, we need add a comma and then the start here. Add a comma, go to branches and drag and drop date of the last census. Go back again to the functions tab to continue checking the syntax. After the start year, we must add a comma and then the start value. Add a comma, go to branches and drag and drop population of last census. Go to the functions tab again. We added all the values. We linked the rate, the start year, and the start value. If we check the example, the rate should indicate whether the value is in percentage. In this case, we need to add the percentage symbol. Add the percentage symbol at the end of the estimated growth rate key assumption. You should have this expression. Click on Finish. Now, the population will not be 800,000 in 2000, but around 872,000 people. This value was projected considering the initial values we entered. To verify that the function was correctly used, we can check the input data. In 1990, the year of the last census, the population was this. If 1990 was part of the modeling period, we should get this population. Go to general years and time steps and change the time horizon. Set the current accounts year as 1990. We can see that the population is 733,530 people. If we look at the reference period 1991-2005, we see that the population is no longer constant but increases. You can also see it on the graph. Run the model to explore the results with these changes. Go to Demand, Water Demand. This graph shows the monthly average of the water demand. We can check the whole time series. Deselect monthly average. We can see how demand changes during the modeling period. The demand for the big city increases. Depends on the variable, it could be useful to see the aggregated values. Select annual total. We can see more clearly in this chart that the big city demand is increasing Due to our changes, the population increases exponentially over time. Go to another result. Select demand coverage. Coverage is no longer the same neither. It changes year by year. Select December. We see that the coverage initially remains at 100%, but the big city demand increases to such an extent that the coverage begins to decline year by year. We selected December because we saw that this month had a deficit when we explored the results without these changes in the previous exercises. Select August. As you can see, it has a negative trend as well. Finally, save this version of the model. Go to Area. Save version, add the comment with population growth. OK. We are going to explore the changes between versions. Go to the data view. This version that we just saved as with population growth 
has an expression in the annual activity level variable for the big city. If we go to area, reverse to version, we see the two versions that we have saved. Open WIP in one hour, which was the version we started from. Once the version opens, if you go to the data view, we see no key assumption created. Open the key assumptions version. Area, reverse to version, key assumptions. Once the version opens, if we go to the data view, we have three key assumptions created. Also, in the demo sites, under the water use annual water use rate variable, two key assumptions are linked. The third one is linked in the monthly variation variable for Big City. Finally, go to area, reverse to version with population growth. If we go to the data view, we see that in the annual activity level variable for Big City is the expression we added by using the growth from function. Remember that we does not have the onto function. The safe version option is how you can go to a previous state of the model. The save version option is a useful feature in WIP that you could remember to use to save the model in a particular state. If you plan to make significant changes to the model, such as adding new elements or changing expression, and you need the model in that particular state, you should save version before making changes. Remember save version before going to a previous version. If you do not save that version, you will lose the changes. You can continue exploring the results. Analyze the input data and results simultaneously to have a better understanding.